Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today is another drawing tutorial and today's drawing tutorial will be on how to draw a bull shark. I am very sorry that I haven't been making drawing videos or videos in general for a while. I've been really busy with school. Mostly drawing videos and I promised myself that or after I finished after I repaired a certain amount of videos, I would go back, I would come back to the swing of drawing videos. And now I am at that time and I kept that promise to you guys. And I'm trying to get all of your requests as much as I can. So please be patient. And so here we go. Anyway, enough with this. Let's actually get to the drawing. So, uh, Bull Shark. Bull sharks are possibly the deadliest of all the sharks due to their extreme aggressiveness and the fact that they can go in salt water and fresh water and that they might have caused the most human deaths of all sharks. And they're right up there as one of the most aggressive animals, period. Anyway, now, they look a little bit like a reef shark, so as you draw this, it might kind of look like a reef shark because they kind of do but they do have a little bit of a different features to them but anyway so you want to start out with like a curve right here we're gonna start here like in the center and then you can go down a bit get a curved angle a downwards angle that's like a curve you can turn the paper a little bit that's what I like to do sometimes to help me and then you have a point right here, and this is going to be a triangle. And you're going to go down like this. And you're going to kind of make that a little tiny curve. So. And then you're going to make like a little line right there. And you're going to make a line that goes like this. And then you're going to have like a line going inside the mouth. This is the mouth. They have like different parts. You'll, you'll see. This looks a little bit strange right now, but just bear with me. And then you have like the chin right here. coming down and then this is just going to continue like that and then it'll come down and then it kind of comes up as like kind of a fat belly <laughs> and then right here we're gonna have like a nostril and bull sharks often get their name I think I don't know I've heard that it's because of their nostrils probably not probably just because of their aggressive temper I think definitely part of their aggressive temper because they often use their heads to ram their prey or they've even been known to ram people's heads or no use their heads to ram people if they think that people are going after their prey And then they even have like a little pupil right here. Kind of like a cute face. And this is like a very, this line possibly you should do even lighter than the others. Because this is going to be the belly right here. This part's the belly and this is the other part. <laughs> and then to add a little bit of effect just come down right here. And like a little dot right there. Because sometimes this part fades into their belly a bit. That rarely happens. That mostly happens with like, that happens more often with tiger sharks than bull sharks. But sometimes it can happen with bull sharks. 
and you have the, the gills here, you need five gills. And then we're going to have the first pectoral fin. It'll come down like this. And then it kind of curves like that. And then we're going to stop right there. You're going to make it come up like this. I have like a little curve on this end. And then it's going to come back here. And then we're going to have the other front pectoral fin right here. Which it kind of has like a, it kind of it looks kind of cool from this angle in my opinion. So you're going to have like a, just a line like that. Out filming here. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. I'm doing my best to find time to film, guys. I'm doing my best. This is what I mean. It's hard. I'm trying. <laughs> and you're going to have like a lighter line right there. To add almost like muscle or realism. And actually now, we need to extend this. For the dorsal fin to come... And the dorsal fin on bull sharks almost looks like the dorsal fin on dolphins. So sometimes people mistake dolphins for bull sharks or bull sharks for dolphins due to their similar dorsal fins. And you see it's not exactly like, um, it's kind of hard to explain. This is like a bit curved right here. And you're going to have like a little triangle, tiny triangle right there. And this is just going to come down a bit like that. And you're going to stop right there. And then you're going to curve this up a bit. And then you're going to stop there. And maybe we'll fix this a bit if it doesn't look too good. But continue to go up like this. Kind of looks like an odd shape right now, but we're kind of doing we're we're doing like almost perspective in this, whereas it's from like a distance, its tail is going back. The we'll fix this a bit. And kind of just curve it like that. That should do. And then we need the second dorsal fin. The tiny dorsal fin. And now the tail. So you're going to curve it. Curve back like this. Actually, let's fix that. Mm. For some people, it may not matter. But the illusion we're going to give is it's going to swirl around. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute here. So. As you can see, it's like a. Almost like a half a circle shape. And then you're going to have like a little tiny triangle poking out. Then you're, you see what I mean? The tail's like turning. Okay. And then you're going to continue. No, you're going to continue like this part of the belly right here. Just kind of 
like go across like this. Until it gets to this end, and then you're just going to stop. And with this thing, we're going to continue it to go back. And then you can kind of see that the shape of the shark is really starting to take place. And now I think about it, this should be longer. And just for a cool effect, I decided to add one of those like rasboras that always swim under bull sharks. So we're going to add, you can add this if you want. I think you should. <laughs> and they use bull sharks for protection. Surprisingly, bull sharks really don't care to eat them, I guess, because it makes sense because bull sharks would rather mu would much rather have larger prey, larger meals. So in return, it's a favor. So you have like that little head right there with the mouth. And then you'll continue to do that line. It'll be like a, a tall dorsal fin with like a curve right there. And they have this like weird little fin that goes up. It's cool looking though. It's interesting. And you have like another one of these fins. It It's almost identical to their dorsal fin. It looks almost exactly alike. And... The top and the bottom parts of the tail are even. And you've got another one of these little fins right here. And then like a gill slit. You got two gill slits right there. And that's your Rasbora. Now for the inside of the bull shark's mouth. Yes, I know that they have teeth, but sometimes you really can't see their teeth. When they open their mouths up like this, their teeth are kind of enclosed. They're not like sand tiger sharks that always have their teeth sticking out. Like, it's kind of strange, but they have like these little lines that I guess hide their teeth. So we're just sort of going to do that. Just put like little lines right there. And then you want to do a lightly and go around that, almost as if it looks like a lip. And then for here, you just add that finishing touch for the fin. Ex these should be extended. And I'll just like trace over a few things like this right here and then you come back down with this Remember, not everything's going to be traced over. Like, for example, this thing separating this part of the body with the belly. You're not going to trace over that dark, darkly like these. That's different. Because it's not really bold.
and uh, we'll come back to that little res bore right there. And again, if I'm going too fast, please feel free to pause the video as always. Okay, I guess, uh, no. Gills. Okay, I think that's good enough now. Use your pencil, just make, like, that pupil black, completely black. And, and then add, like, a little gray in this right part of the eye, and I think that takes care of the eye of the bull shark. And now, this separation, I guess, you can trace over this black so that you know that this... Thing is going to be black right here and as you can see and this is going to be like a dark gray almost black but not quite or just a super dark gray like that works and then right here is an even lighter gray but still pretty dark like that and I think that takes care of your mouth so now just make this dark gray and make this dark gray and then oh, oh sorry move the camera a bit oh sorry and then whoa take this side of your pencil and then just do like a light gray a really really light gray for the top right here very close to this gray part of the body which we'll get to that very short shortly because it almost makes sense because you can kind of see how the gray almost fades into the white Which I think reef sharks also have this. Then for like the bottom of the fins a bit. And then this will be like a dark gray, not black. Like some sharks will have black tips at the bottom of their fins. But sometimes I think bull sharks have this, but this one just has like a dark gray. And then you're going to have a dark gray right here. And this is for reflection, not actual color. Because, of course, yeah, you definitely need some depth in here. Like that. Jeez, hang on. No, not now. I just said I gotta finish this. Jeez. Ah, uh, can you stop? I have no school tomorrow. Oh my. Hang on in. Ah, oh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Gosh, that was awkward. Uh, you see, this is what I'm talking about is in. Like, they'll pretend I'm going to have time tomorrow on my day off when really I'm probably not. So, I mean, I, the day I get this uploaded might be a while from the day that I'm actually making this video. Anyway, here's a dark gray. This is a little bit of a lighter gray. And then it kind of gets dark. 
and then it kind of gets lighter as it goes up again. So it's like almost like divided, like this is the darkest part out of these two sides, or these two areas. I guess now they're considered sides, but in real life they're obviously not. But in the drawing they, they could be. And this kind of gets darker right here because it's separating because you need this white right here because that's part of the reflection from sunlight from up above. There's all kinds of reflections. You, and then just shade this in very lightly like that. You can still tell it's kind of like sunlight. Oh. Still got to outline these a bit. Because these are kind of visible, so you want them to show. And this fin's kind of going to be dark. I like to turn it upside down for this. Sometimes. Like I said before. And that's going to be dark, so is this. A lot of these fins are going to be dark. Almost like a shadow connecting. That's, it, there's just, that's just like a really cool design. I think to give this more depth. There we go. Same here, same here. That looks good. And now for the tail. Okay, now time to finish off this little rasbora here as the finishing touch so he's kind of got like a gray for the top of his head and we're gonna make this a dark gray for like almost like a little stripe around his eyes like a mask and these fins will also be dark like the bull sharks And you should outline his body as well. Or whatever gender you want it to be. It doesn't really matter. All right, I think that I think that about about wraps up this tutorial. <clears throat> and again, guys, I am I will try to get more drawing videos in. I am very busy with everything, and as you can see, little incidents like little incidents like that are what are keeping me from doing these for you guys. So I hope you can understand. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you hopefully in the next video. And I'm going to sign my name right here. And I'm going to 
have the date. Peace out, everyone.